Hello and welcome back to another video on the Triumph Trident. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why I bought this bike, why I chose it over its competitors, and whether or not you should buy one if you're considering it. So the first reason I bought a Trident, and it's not particularly specific to the Trident, but I wanted a restricted bike so I could de-restrict it because I've just taken my A2 test, I've got my A2 license, and in a few months I can go ahead and get my unrestricted license. Oh look, sheep. So by getting this bike, I'd essentially be getting two bikes in one or by getting a restricted 650 bike. So I could have chosen any 650 bike across the range of the 650s or any restricted bike really. And I was probably most likely to get a CB650R if anything, because I'm coming from a CB500, I've got the Honda Monkey. So it was sort of a natural progression, but I had an experience at Maidstone Honda which I didn't particularly like, and I'll make a whole other video about it, but they essentially didn't really want to sell me the bike or, or weren't interested in me as a customer. And I don't know if that was because of my age or if I've just got the license, but I'd actually bought the monkey from this dealership a few months prior. So I was a bit surprised when they just didn't even seem keen to engage with me. And it was the complete opposite when I got the Trident or even when I went into the Triumph dealership. They were super helpful the whole time. The other thing that made the Trident so appealing compared to the other 650 bikes is where you get the torque in the rev range. Now, you may have seen this in other reviews, but this bike, restricted, has 60 newton meters of torque, which is only 10% less than its unrestricted variant. And that torque is delivered all throughout the rev range. It sort of peaks at around between four and 6,000 revs, but it's got usable torque that you can use absolutely everywhere. And the power of this bike, or the perceived power of this bike, is so much more than my CB500. When I was going from the CB500 to this, because it was a restricted bike with both 47 horsepower, I was kind of expecting it to be similar in terms of how they felt power-wise. But the torque delivery on this bike is leagues above the CB500. CB500 has 43 newton meters of torque, and this has 60, or 59 is actually the stat. Which makes it an absolute machine with the usable revs. And it means it's a much more powerful bike than my CB500 even within the A2 restriction. I also really wanted a Triumph. I love the Bonnevilles, the Speed Twins, and my dream bike really is the Speed Triple. And I love the look of the Street Triple as well. Triumph is known as being a premium brand, and I wanted into that, but it was never really, oh, shoddy taunt kernin, wasn't it? And I wanted to buy into that, but I could never really justify the price. They are on the premium end of the market compared to Hondas, which are more budget, shall we say. And when they released the Trident, it made it that little bit accessible with that 7,195 base price compared to the Street Triple S, which is 8,000. They just brought it that little bit nearer so someone like me could afford it. And that leads me on to the next reason, which is the price. The fit and finish of this bike and what you get for the money makes it exceptional value. No matter if you're a restrictive rider, if it's your first bike, if you've been riding for a while and you want something like the Trident, that price just makes it so, so, so much more attainable. The accessories on it were also fantastic. I've got the heated grips on mine, the optional quick shifter is coming, I've got the connectivity module, all of these things that you couldn't really get on another bike in the range. I mentioned the connectivity module. It's not amazing on this bike, it really isn't. But this TFT dash is way better than the competition. And is one of the reasons you might opt for the Trident. You've got this lovely little uh, TFT kind of dash at the bottom where you can toggle through and see a bunch of information which is really nicely laid out. You've got your nav which you can use, you can see your miles per gallon, um, you can see your service intervals, change the brightness 
and it's all very easily controlled with the switch gear. So the tech on this bike, although not executed fantastically, we, you don't always want to be connected to the bike really when you're out and about on your phone, but the dash and the information, the way it's displayed is class leading. And the final reason, and this is completely subjective, but it's the looks of the bike. Um, some people really don't like the tyre hugger with the tail end. I really like it. I, I like the sort of sporty naked mix with a retro front end that makes it look kind of cool. One of my other dream bikes is the Honda CB1000R and that's got a similar tail end with the tyre hugger and sort of the stubbiness of it. But it looks really, really clean. It will divide opinion of course, but it's one of the reasons that I chose to buy this bike. And the final reason, which sort of references my first point about getting a bigger bike, is the performance. The performance all round of the Trident is exceptional. It really, really is good. And I'm not talking about the performance that you see on the spec sheet. I'm talking about real world performance, the way you can actually ride the bike and feel it. But this bike goes round corners like nothing else I've ever ridden before. You throw it into a corner and it holds its line and shape perfectly. It's got short gearing through gear one to four, which means you can really work through those gears. And if you're lazy and you don't want to change gear, you can stick in third or fourth, and you've got a bunch of usable torque throughout the rev range, so you don't even really need to work too hard to do that. So the performance of this bike really does make it the new king of the 650s, but I'm sure I'll make another video on that. What do you guys think of the Trident? Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below I'd love to know what you think of the bike. I obviously love my purchase. I'll be making a bunch more videos. So if you've got any questions that you want to know about the Trident, make sure you leave a comment too. And subscribe for upcoming videos. Turn those notifications on if you don't want to miss any. And if you're still here, monkey viewers, I appreciate you sticking around. There will be a bunch more monkey videos, but right now I'm really enjoying this Trident. So I'm going to make a few more on this bike. All right, guys, that's it for now. Cheerio. Thank you.